This would certainly be on the short list of most commonly asked questions I get about fasting. Can you drink coffee on a fast? So before jumping into this, I wanna quote my brother, who aptly says to me whenever I get too wound around the axle, major in the major, minor in the minor. So if you're at the point where you're doing a five day water only fast, and the debate is whether or not you can have some black coffee or not, the good news is you're already 95% of the way there. Go back to your rationale for fasting. Are you fasting for weight loss? Are you fasting to improve metabolic health? Are you fasting to give your gut a rest? Are you fasting because prolonged periods of fasting can enhance cellular turnover, regeneration, a process known as autophagy, things of that nature? Your answer to that question will determine whether or not drinking coffee is in your best interest during a fast. So let's take each of those one by one and go through them. Let's assume that you're fasting for weight loss. Does the black coffee make a difference? No, it almost certainly does not. What if you're fasting to improve metabolic health, glucose, insulin levels, things like that? Again, the coffee probably doesn't hurt at all. What about if you're fasting to improve gut health? Well, in that case, the coffee probably is a problem and you would be better off consuming water only. Now, of course, the really hard one here and the one to which I don't know the answer and I don't think anybody knows the answer is whether or not fasting for a prolonged period of time, which we believe enhances autophagy, is impaired by coffee. But I like to err on the side of being conservative. And so for me personally, whenever I'm fasting, prolonged fasting, which is to say five, six, seven days, I'm doing so only with water, sparkling water, and herbal teas. So there is no caffeine, there is no coffee. Conversely, when I'm time-restricted feeding, which means let's say I'm only eating from two o'clock in the afternoon until 8 p.m., I'll still often have a morning coffee and it will be black because I'm doing that less for a belief of autophagy and I'm not doing it for gut rest in my case and I'm more doing it for the overall metabolic benefits and so in that situation I can get away with the coffee. Now I know this seems a little bit complicated but again I want you to think of this through the lens of solving this problem for yourself as opposed to just looking for an answer. We don't have the tools to measure at the cellular level the things that we would want to know are impaired by or enhanced by coffee. So let's go through that again kind of quickly. If you're fasting because you're looking to rest your gut, I would avoid coffee at all costs. If you're fasting for weight loss or metabolic control, black coffee is fine, but remember, once you start adding cream, sugar, butter, or anything else you would add to coffee to it, I think all bets are off and you're really no longer fasting. If you're fasting because you're interested in the potential longevity benefits of it, I think the jury's still out, but I like to be conservative and avoid coffee during my prolonged fasts.